we've got Dr. Jake Sinkoff and Dr. Nicole Gasner. Uh, Jake is an emergency medicine resident and Nicole is in our traditional internship. So welcome today. Thank you. And you're here because we've got didactics this afternoon? We do. We have uh, four or five hours of lecture today every uh, Thursday afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a multitude of, of uh, specialties that are presenting. And how, how have your rotations been? They've been going great. Everyone's been really accommodating and friendly and helping us get settled and it's been a good experience so far. Yeah, they've been absolutely great. I've been lucky enough to be in the emergency department my first three months and as an emergency doctor that's what I like. I've been more than happy with the uh, quality of care, the teaching of the attendings, the nursing staff and just all the employees down in the emergency department have been absolutely awesome and very welcoming to the residents. Great. What would you like to see for this upcoming year? Um, I'm just excited to have, you know, as the residency continues to grow, um, more and more residents and as I become an upper level resident, helping to teach the younger residents and um, just growing um, the program and uh, getting more specialties and uh, continuing to grow because as of right now we're obviously a very young program and established, establishing <coughs> ourselves within the state um, and the country as one of the best residency programs in the country. That's awesome. I know. <laughs> so Nicole, what was your favorite rotation so far? Um, well, I've been on pediatrics and OB thus far, and I've enjoyed both, but um, you know, a traditional intern, my eventual goal is wanting to go into pediatrics, so I have to say that's been my favorite, and I've worked with several pediatricians, both here in the hospital and outpatient in their clinics, and they've all been fabulous. Great. Good. And how are the didactics going? The didactics are going very well. Um, we're getting multiple specialties, multiple lectures, um, and we've also started doing uh, case presentations from residents. We get to see all the uh, great cases that the residents um, have seen and all the great patients, and um, it's pretty interesting seeing all this, uh, how smart the fellow residents are picking up a lot of these cases and being able to treat a lot of these patients very well. Great. So. And how about journal clubs? Journal clubs have been great. I think we've had, this is our, going on our third month, so it'll be a little different this time around. We're gonna be a little surprised as to who's presenting, but it just helps us prepare and better understand how to evaluate articles. That's what I've heard. Dr. Ian Goyne has a different way of running journal club where he puts everybody into the hat, and then when you show up that night, you may be the one that's called on to present. That's what I hear, yes. It should, should be interesting, so everyone needs to come prepared and be ready to go. Good. How do you like the new space? Um, it's awesome. Um, having rotated multiple other places throughout Michigan, um, looking at other programs, these are by far the best facilities um, anywhere else in the state for any residency, along, you know, including emergency medicine residencies. Um, everything's brand new. Um, the technology is up to date. Um, and uh, medical education and the hospital definitely did a, did a great job. How are the iPads working? They look great completely, for me it was really unexpected, but it's been a nice resource and tool to be able to take throughout the hospital and on rotations while we're working and then being able to have that resource at home to use as well. Great. And they fit in a coat pocket, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they also sit right next to my computer when I'm working in the emergency department. I can type in, look up drugs and medications that I want to give. Yeah. And dosing. It's awesome. Good. And you use that for a lot of your electronic resources? Absolutely, yeah. We can uh, uh, have access to all sorts of uh, uh, books and resources and articles, which you can just easily read and saves a lot of paper. You don't have to buy books. So it's absolutely an awesome resource. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, too. Thank you. Thank you.